My name is Sergeant Reith Hanks. I am a tomb guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in the 3rd Infantry Regiment at Fort Myer, Virginia. Okay. And how long have you been a tomb guard? I've been a tomb guard for a little over a year. Okay. And uh, how difficult was it to transfer into the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment? It wasn't difficult to transfer into the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment. Um, it's just a duty assignment that you have to put an application in for and be accepted into. And then I served as military police in the 29th Military Police Company on Fort Myer. And then I volunteered to come down to the tomb to start training as a tomb guard. And wh where are you from? I'm from Waco, Texas. Okay, do you have any family there? Yes, I do have family in Texas. Um, my brother was in the Marine Corps for 12 years. My sister is medically retired out of the Army. My father served in the Navy. His dad retired out of the Navy. And my mom's dad served in the Army. Are there any sports enthusiasts in your family? There's big sports enthusiasts in my family. I played college soccer for four years at Birmingham Southern College, and everybody else is just a sports enthusiast. Great. And what position did you play? I was a goalkeeper. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, when, you're, when you're guarding the tomb, what thoughts go through your mind other than trying to keep track of your 21 second intervals? Mostly just the 21 second intervals because you have to count your 21 seconds and that's mostly what I think about just making sure everything looks right outside. Okay and since you've been a tomb guard is there anything unusual or unique that has happened to you while you were on duty? Uh, not really some people try and get underneath the rails to grab something that they drop but we quickly what we call break them off and get them back to the other side of the rails. So you do have a loud voice when you need it? Yes I do. Okay pretty authoritative. It can be. Okay. Now, what, you were an MP, I think, is that yes, correct? Yes, I was military police. And how long you were, were you an MP? I was an MP at Fort Carson for three years, and then I came here, and I was an MP at, at the 29th for about five months before I transferred down to the tomb. When did you first consider taking on the responsibility or attempting to become a tomb guard? When I was deployed in Afghanistan in 2013 and began thinking about where my next assignment was going to be, I read a few articles about the old guard in the tomb and the other special specialty platoons that they have. And I also happened to run into an old badge holder and talk to him for a little bit and I kind of set, set in stone that's what I wanted to come and try and do on my next assignment. Okay, so once you've achieved this badge, the tomb guard badge, do you keep that forever? Yes, it is a lifetime award. However, if you do something that brings discredit upon the unknowns or our mission, it can be removed even if you're out of service. Okay, were you aware of the fact that there were female tomb guards before you? Yes, I was. Okay, and do you know their names? I couldn't tell you, sir. Me too. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Uh, the Sentinel's Creed, is that yeah. something that you need to memorize? Is that something that you... Yes, that is one of the first things that we memorize, and it's very near and dear to our heart, and something that whenever we say it, we always say it loud and proud and with a bunch of enthusiasm. Can you recite it for me? Oh, man. I can't be loud, though. That's okay. okay. You, you. The Sentinel's Creed. My dedication to this sacred duty is total and wholehearted. In the responsibility bestowed on me, never will I falter. And with dignity and perseverance, my standard will remain perfection. Through the years of diligence and praise and the discomfort of the elements, I will walk my tour in humble reverence to the best of my ability. It is he who commands the respect I protect his bravery that made us so proud. Surrounded by well-meaning crowds by day, alone in the thoughtful peace of night, this soldier will in honored glory rest under my eternal vigilance. Simon, 1971. Hurrah.